That's right. I'm controlling this motor with sound. When the noise I play increases in pitch, the motor spins clockwise, and when I lower the pitch, it spins counterclockwise. Even though I'm using a tone generator, I can use a musical instrument to control it as well. You're probably wondering why I did this, and how I did it. Well, I'm in the process of converting my Tupperware boat into a submarine, and I need a way of controlling it. The current prototype is radio controlled, and radio waves do not travel well underwater. If the Tupperware goes more than 20 centimeters underwater, it loses communication. This is a known flaw, and if you look at any other DIY submarines on YouTube, you can see that they almost always have a floating tether going back to the surface to solve this problem. But I don't want to have a tether coming out of my sub. That's where sound comes in. Unlike radio waves, sound travels really well underwater, and I came up with a proof of concept on how I can control a model submarine with it. So how does this demo work? Well, sound is a wave of air pressure, and waves have two main characteristics, amplitude and frequency. The amplitude of sound is how loud it is, and the frequency of sound is its pitch. If we put a microphone on a submarine, we can control it by playing with these wave properties. At first, I thought of using the amplitude of sound to control the motor. It would be really easy and I could just write a program to move the motor depending on how loud the sound is. If I play a quiet sound, for example, the motor can spin slowly, and if I play a loud sound, the motor spins really fast. But there is a problem. The amplitude of sound depends on how far you are from the source of sound. This would make controlling a submarine really hard because its distance from the source would constantly change, making it super hard to establish a baseline sound level. But sound has another property, which is its frequency. The frequency of sound doesn't change over distance. If I play a note on the recorder, you can see the tuner shows me playing the same note regardless of where I am. We can simply write a program that uses a microphone to move the motor depending on what frequency it hears. There's a thing called a Fourier transform that can be used to analyze the frequency makeup of sound, and I wrote a Python script to perform a Fourier transform on the data that the microphone was picking up. And then the program points the motor in a certain direction depending on what the peak frequency is. As you can see, it works pretty well. The Raspberry Pi is doing all the heavy lifting of the Python script, and the Arduino takes care of moving the motor. They communicate with each other with this cable. The next step is to actually put the electronics in a Tupperware and test out if my sound control mechanism works in a pool. It's still a work in progress, so subscribe so you don't miss the next video.